None of us arrives fully fledged, you know, and with a complete writer's toolbox. There'll be some things that you have to learn and pick up and develop, and that's normal. Hello, my name's Dominic Mingella. Um, I'm a writer and producer. Uh, some of my credits are Robin Hood for the BBC, uh, which I wrote and created and show ran. Dot Martin, which I wrote and created and um, still lives. And recently I show ran a series, new drama series called Nightfall for a &E Studios and the History Channel. And these are my tips uh, for writing. Study. Think about and try and get hold of scripts that are being bought and read them. Find scripts that didn't quite get bought and see if you can work out why. One of the things I like to do is to uh, legally buy a DVD and rip the, I hope it's legal, rip the audio from the DVD and play it in a car so that you can listen to a screenplay and you're not distracted by the cinematography and the, and the pictures and you can just think about what might have been on the page. But it's more alive than just reading a script and I find that a, a really good way to just see what the writer did. Notice what works for you when you're writing. You know, if you have a good day writing or a good hour writing, then just ask yourself what was it that enabled you to do that and to get into that state of mind? Was it that you were playing the right music? What time of day was it? You know, is it the right, getting the chair right, your desk right, your keyboard right, your monitor right? When you find it working for you, those are the things that you should pay attention to and try and replicate wherever it is that you're trying to write. But at the same time, don't be wedded to it because the real world of writing is you're on a plane, you're late, you've got the flu, and all of those things that the real world of writing means you can't have your computer and your music and your keyboard and everything and your lovely chair uh, there for you. So don't be wedded to them. Get them right for those days when you need to get them right and then be prepared to jettison all of the advice I've just given you for the real world of writing and still be brilliant. Write something that isn't you, whether that's a format that you don't really feel is something you'd ever want to do, if you don't ever want to write a soap, then make yourself write a soap. If there's a genre that you think is of no interest to you, make yourself write in that genre, even if you never show it to anybody. When you write into your weaknesses, then you're developing your weak spots, which are always going to be useful skills for you in the writing that really is you. You may well surprise yourself, and I've certainly surprised myself in working in all kinds of formats that I had never anticipated working just because the opportunity was there. And I think particularly in markets where we don't have the training opportunities that they have, for instance, in America, where you can arrive as a junior writer, you're not exposed, there are people around you who can help you with the weaknesses in your ideas or your dialogue or your structure, and you may not even be credited for an episode anyway. And when we work in markets uh, like the UK, or in, uh, my understanding of what, a lot of what happens in Australia is you're having to be um, a sort of arrive brilliant at everything. That's not realistic. We can't be brilliant from just right out of the box. So I think um, one of the ways to develop yourself in the absence of a, an industry structure for learning is to go into places that you don't want to go. Don't show anyone, just, just show yourself and see what comes out of that and you may be, be pleasantly surprised. Thank you for watching my top tips and I hope they're useful. You can also tune in to and subscribe to uh, the channel and find some um, more useful top tips from um, wiser folk than me. Good luck.